Uh, what's up, y'all? I'm Bramble Gaming, home of the gaming, and today we're we gonna be doing a tier list. Now I know it's so original and so cool, but get this, we'll be doing it with all 81 items from the original Super Mario Maker. Wow, dude, isn't that epic? Look at this, man. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, so here we go. We got the S plus tier. We got the S tier. We got the A tier. We got the B tier. We got the C tier. We got the D tier. I think it's a pretty good tier list, you know? I'm just gonna be going through, giving my opinions on each item, tearing them up. You know how we do it with these tier lists. I hope you guys are excited for this tier list. If you are, you should click that like button and subscribe. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so first up, we got the ground. How are you gonna have a Super Mario Maker level without ground, you know? It's easy S plus tier, you know, if you don't have ground in your level, you're kind of stupid. Uh, coins, that's going to be an S tier because they, you can use them for paths. People think that, you know, coins don't have a real good use in Super Mario Maker, but you know, they're used for directing the player. If you use coins well, you can direct the player pretty well, but if you don't use them well, then you're pretty scummy, okay? So, use these well, use these in all your Mario Maker levels, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of a trademark, kind of a staple, you know? If you don't have if you don't have your levels with coins in them, it's kinda kinda bland, gotta be honest. Alright, Bowser, cool guy, cool boss, one of the only actual bosses in the game S plus tier easy. Booze, I'm gonna have to put them at the B tier because you know they're kind of a bland enemy. That's what B tier stands for, bland. Ha, <laughs> got him. Uh anyways, uh <laughs> Alright, here we got fire bars, A tier, and piranha plant, easy S tier. This guy's a smash. How can you not like a piranha plant? He's in Smash. Everybody made him. Uh, Monty Moles, they're gonna be in a C tier because they're, they're kind of a bland enemy. I don't think really almost anyone uses them. And you know, they're just gonna sit in that C tier for crappy tier. <laughs> Alright, then we got uh, S tier for the key because the key is easily one of the best additions that Nintendo put to this game. I'm gonna have to put the, you know, Q or up there as well with the S tier because they're like hand to hand. Uh, really open, a lot of open world exploration levels, really good, it's really nice, and uh, I sad that, you know, they didn't have this in the original release of the game, so, about only, like, probably less than half of the levels in Super Mario Maker actually have keys and key doors, when really they should be used a lot more often than that, for traditional levels anyways. Alright, then we got the cheap cheap, C tier, because if you use the cheap cheaps, then you're having a water level, and water levels suck, and if you, like, aren't having a water level and put your cheap cheeps in there and you know they're not really a good enemy kind of like monty mole it's crappy tier all right and here we got skewers skewers very good a very good castle uh mechanic s tier because they're probably one of the best castle hazards you can put in find them a lot better than thwomps find them a lot more menacing a lot more cool definitely fit castle themes i love the towers when they use them in traditional ones so s tier for me koopa clown car b tier but fire koopa clown car a tier because you know it's kind of a slow slow vehicle but at least with the koopa fire clown car you can at least shoot out projectiles so we can feel like shoot them up levels that's pretty cool all right koopa kid or bowser jr whatever uh, I'm putting him at A tier because he's a pretty cool boss. And Super Mushroom, eh, it's gonna have to be a B tier. Because, you know, it's it is one hit, extra hit of health points. It is a staple of Mario. But, you know, it doesn't really allow for anything cool for you to do with it. It's just one more hit that you can just invincibility in through. It's nice, but, you know, it's, eh, it's kind of a bland power up, you know? Stay under the bland tier. Alright, and Rocky Wrenches, crappy tier. Uh, Boo Buddies, that's an easy D tier because, uh,. And they're just so inferior to uh, the boost. It's gonna be the dumb tier, stupendous tier, and awesome tier. Okay, so uh, yeah, the boo buddies are just dumb because like it's really just a waiting game. People just spam them, and it's awful, and you take so much damage. And I could I care less about them. In the easy D tier. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to say that the question, the hidden question blocks are going, they're gonna have to go in the, if you use this, you are scum tier, right there at the bottom, uh, it's very nice. Alright, so sideways springs, uh, they're pretty good for contraptions, you know, but you don't really see them used anywhere else, so that's gonna be a B tier for me, A tier is gonna be the springs though. Uh, Fire Piranha Plant, inferior to Piranha Plant, still good though, uh, inferior version because this one's not a smash. I mean, he does, does he turn, no, he doesn't turn to a Fire Piranha Plant, I don't think. So yeah, 
A tier. Uh, I'm gonna put that B tier. So we should have had the Super Leaf, but we got that crap instead. We just fought Fly vertically and do nothing else. Uh, Yoshi Egg, everybody loves Yoshi, S plus tier. Fish Bones and D tier, don't use them because they're if you use them, you're making a water level. Don't make water levels. Checkpoint flag, S plus tier. If you're like, I don't care what type of level it is, auto puzzle. If it doesn't have a checkpoint flag, then don't don't even submit it. Okay. Sludge Brothers, they're gonna have to be in the S tier. They're easily a better version of the Hammer Brothers, which are in A tier, because at least these ones, they like stomp the ground to send vibration to shock you, so they're definitely much harder than these enemies. So they're very good, both of them are very good, one of the best enemies in the game, purely because they're actually hard to defeat. And if you don't spam them, they're very good enemies. Don't spam them. Uh, Super Feather, S tier, one of the best power-ups in the game. And Doors, they're gonna have to be at the A tier, but the P-Switch doors, where are they? They're down here. P-Switch doors, S tier, because, you know, it's pretty cool. We'll put the P-Switch up there, too, with the S tier. It's a pretty cool idea that you can have doors on a timer. You know, it's it's better than just your average walk through the doors. So, uh, in this suit, uh, the feather, the feather's going to be A tier. The Goomba shoe, you can turn that into heel S tier. And, uh... See, the skinny mushroom was the only new power-up added to Super Mario Maker, and it turned Mario as skinny. <laughs> that was super cool, right? But the thing is, with the skinny mushroom, you can jump a tiny bit higher than regular mushrooms, and every regular mushroom has a chance of becoming a skinny mushroom. So, everybody used it for RNG levels that literally would take like a .0075% chance to beat. So, if you use this, you are scum tier, because everybody hates those levels. Don't even do it. Uh, mystery costumes. They're a B tier, because like, it's kind of cool. Yeah, you can use them, but, you know, they don't really give any power. It kind of sucks that they're not in the sequel, but, you know, you know, you could turn into Sonic with these, so that's an S plus tier. Uh, Superstar Invisibility, uh, A tier, because that's cool. Ah, B, yeah, A tier. And then the Spikes, B tier, I mean, eh, they're kind of spammed when people use them, but they're cool, Death Trap. Uh, Razor's superior version of Spikes, A tier. Uh, Magic Koopa, one of them. Another great enemy because it's hard to defeat. Cool concept. It's really cool that they can actually warp or warp the flag and then you have to kill them. So because of that, I'm going to have to move them up to S tier. Or special. Or is it superior? I don't know. Uh, then we got the Wigglers. You know, they're generic enemy B tier. Kind of cool that you can do chase sequences with them. Uh, music block. They like trampolines, but they're blocks. Uh, B tier. And Koopa Troopa is definitely one of the better early game enemies. I'll have to put that S tier. It's kind of cool that you can take the shell and then use it. And if you're not careful with it, you can actually kill yourself. So it's sort of like a revenge for the Koopa Troopa. It's mu they're much better than the Goombas. The Goombas are kind of bland, so we'll put them at the B tier. Uh, <laughs> we got Buzzy Beetles. Inferior version of Koopa Troopa's A tier. Uh, the same goes for Spinies, even though they're cool. Uh, Conveyor Belts. S tier. Easy. Munchers. You know, they're one of the only enemies you can't actually defeat. So people have used them very wisely. Uh, I'm gonna have to put them at A tier. Fire Flower S plus tier. Easy, 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 easy. This is one of the OG power ups. Very good. Yeah. Uh, chain jumps. There's. I mean, they're kind of cool. A tier, I guess. And this, this kind of cool. Uh, cheap cheeps. Uh, wings. Yeah, they're kind of cool. You know, you could, you could. Uh, Make enemies fly. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh, bloopers. <laughs> we got ice blocks. <laughs> uh, the ice blocks are pretty cool because uh, you slip on them. A <laughs> tier. <laughs> oh man. Oh okay. Uh, these guys are like buzzy beetles. You can't actually kill them, but they walk around stuff. Uh, B tier, I guess. They're kind of bland. Skull ca skull rafts are cool because you can make like roller coaster type levels with that. So that's gonna be an A tier. Moving platforms, S tier. Love these things. Very good level. Components, pipes, S plus tier, easy. Sub areas. How can you not have sub areas pipes in a Mario Maker level? This is this is easy, man. Bomb bombs, cool enemy A tier. One up. It's a cool item. But it doesn't really have any use outside of a hundred Mario challenge, man. It's just that it's just that. <sighs> that feeling of you're getting your reward, but it means nothing. I'll have to put that out of the C tier. Sorry, but the Womps, pretty cool enemy, A tier. Uh, Lack of tears of use this year, scum, because RNG. Uh, these things, they're kind of cool. 
cannons, uh, you know, they, they shoot, they shoot cannonballs. <laughs> All right, and burners, you know, Mario does that cool thing where he crouches by them and he acts afraid and they make castles pretty cool. It's S tier. Cloud blocks. You know, they kind of like donut blocks, which is at the end here. Donut blocks are pretty cool because you follow them. The cloud blocks are like that, but they don't follow, so that's a B tier. Uh, Bullet Bills, S tier, one of the best Mario Maker enemies. Roof block, S plus tier. Question block, S plus tier. How are you not going to have Mario in the level with these things? Uh, Lava Bubbles, cool enemy, A tier. And Dry Bones, you know, cool enemy, yeah. Power block, eh, not many people use it. Tracks, yeah, sure. And the key coin, oh yes, this is very good because... It's like you have to have multiple keys for one door, and that's a really cool concept. So that's cool. Mushroom platforms, A tier. Uh, Simple solid platforms, S tier, because you can make your levels look pretty. Who uses these? Like, concrete blocks. Who uses these ever? Can, can you tell me who? Like, why wouldn't you just use these things? D tier. Uh, arrow, S tier, because you can tell people where to go. And, ugh, oh, excuse me. These guys, B tier. Yeah, you know, it looks pretty good. Ugh, looks pretty good. Yep. Alright, that was my tier list. Hope you all have a good day. You can uh, make your own tier list with the link in the description. I'll put it there because I made this template on Tier Maker. It's not sponsored, though, sadly. Alright, that's cool. I'm out. See ya.